drop me off, and then 20 minutes later they said they needed me, so I wind up coming to work at 7.30. I did everything I needed to do for my patients, y'all. I mean, thoroughly. I was sitting with a patient for a little bit, you know, I had time. You know, I, I had, like, extra time to sit and watch the IV go through. I was just doing all kinds of things that I didn't really need to do, but extra care for my patients. And, um, I sat down to go in my corner, as I always do, to, like, you know, look for patient stuff, and yet, nausea just hit me. I think first I felt hungry, and then all of a sudden nausea hit me, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, sometimes when you're nauseous, and you haven't eaten, you get nauseous when you haven't eaten a lot. So I was like, all right, it's about 10.45, I can go eat my dinner, because I didn't really eat a full one before I left, and I wanted to eat that, and it made it worse. I must have been in the bathroom for like 30 or 40 minutes, and I'm like, I can't, I can't shake this. And then I think before that, I had already like changed someone, like they were incontinent of stool, and I changed her, and she's been at our hospital for a long time, so it wasn't anything that I needed existence with, but I was in there by myself with a mask on, and sometimes when you are nauseated and you are doing jobs such as that, it makes it worse. So I told the charge nurse, and I was like, look, I'm sorry. And they had just received a nurse to make the census, the nurse to patient ratio great, and I had to leave, and I felt so bad, but I'm learning, and I even want to tell you all, um, sometimes we suffer when we don't have to, and I'm learning now in my life that I don't have to suffer at work if I don't have to, and especially working nights, I'm not going to be nauseated and tired and a whole bunch of things. I can't give my best to patients when I am sick, and so I'm a home. I went home and I got home about 12 and I slept all day. My husband let me sleep and I woke up and I still was nauseous. I don't know, it was just a random stomach bug. Maybe I'm allergic to the hospital that I work at. <laughs> I told it to my husband, I was like, can you be allergic to a place? But um, yeah, so tonight is Thursday and I, I did pick up for to to pay. And so I'm gonna see if they actually do need me because again, they have been calling me out. Darn it, Leah, darn it, darn it. about 5.20 and then Pinto who's charged sometimes up to 6 o'clock they will call me off um, so we'll see um, if they will do that but in light of that because they have been calling me off um, and I want y'all to know this also is the benefit of being a nurse like I was just like I can't depend on this one PRN job anymore and I've been doing it for one for two almost two years and um, I don't like how I was messing with my money so I went and got another PRN job <laughs> I literally applied for this job I think one late evening right no it was one afternoon like at 4 4 4 20 and i remember specifically 4 10 i got i mean it was like 4 20 4 30 i received the email for to set up an interview and it was for the next following week and that was actually last friday and i got hired on the spot and it's a PRN job working with a minimum less days than where I currently work. So I'm like, thank you, God. Um, this back to my old stomping grounds, which is orthopedics, which I said I would never go back to, but I'm gonna try it because, um, you know, it's PRN and they have less requirements. So I'm um, hoping that it's a good fit. If not, I'm gonna stick it out and get my money and do what I gotta do. So yeah. Alrighty, so I'll pick up the camera if I'm at work, and if not, I'll let you guys know I'm gonna cancel. I feel like my vlogs, for the past two have not been like all nursing because of my shifts but i'm gonna get back to giving you guys some material soon 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 it's 8 53 they called me up at 5 20. i think they're gonna call me up for the rest of the night because i can see on the scheduling app like mad travelers are working tonight and then a lot of float pool nurses and so that capped out at like seven nurses unless there's a need somewhere else and they were in the hospital so i'm kind of like at this point let me just go to sleep and i'll see them next week but um basically i have to stay up to like 10 o'clock to see if they call me up call me off today is actually the beginning of my work week even though it's saturday night which is kind of like the end but it's beginning of clients because i feel like i only worked a day and a half last week um somewhere in my blog i think i said i was sick one night so i left and then i had picked up another shift on like thursday and they canceled me the entire shift. So I asked my boss to re rearrange my schedule because this, these two days, Saturday night and Sunday, are two of the four required shifts I'm supposed to work every six six weeks. And so I um, planned a getaway or some time with my best friend um, this week. 
and I wanted to make sure all my things as far as work and appointments were done before Tuesday so that I can leave out on Tuesday. So I'm getting ready to go in and I already know I have to be charged because they text me. I actually haven't been charged in a while and it's been really, really good. But you know what? I always proclaim that it's going to be a good shift and I, I speak it into existence that um, that is going to be a good shift. Hallelujah. All right, so I am charged tonight, and so I've already completed all of my tasks that needed to be done in order to be the charge nurse for tonight. I've checked the crash card. I have accounted for all the inventory, and I have already assessed uh, my patient. And so now that the nurses are actually giving meds, I am being the unit clerk. I'm sitting at the front answering the phones because we do not have one on this particular day. So because I do have downtime, I sit at the front to make sure I'm answering all in incoming calls from the ER because we do have new patients coming, making sure the nurses are getting report. If not, I'm taking report and I'm just being whatever I can be at this moment. And so that is why sometimes being charged is uh, a task, but <laughs> I'm handling it well, I guess. So one thing that I do is I actually write down all the important numbers uh, for the doctors, for the ERT, for the stat nurses, all on my badge so that when in case of emergency, I am not scrubbing around trying to find numbers and I put it on the back of my badge. We do have numbers for um, uh, whoever's the nurses and the CNAs and that's on the back of our phone, but they don't write like who's on call. So I carry a few pills with me all the time and I found this cute cute uh, peel case on Amazon and I'll link it in um, my description box. I am home you guys. It is 8.54. I actually went to the grocery store to get some things. I actually went to the grocery store and I did not um, record it. But anyways, I am trying to lower my cholesterol because it's through the roof. Um, and so I went and got some things so I can at least have some food to make and right now I am making some oatmeal and I'm getting ready to take some um, supplements um, so I, I read this book that it says in four weeks if I follow this plan my cholesterol will go down <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm doing right now I do have to go to work tonight but last night was a very I would say easy shift um, just had a lot of patient requests, but then also between the last hours, we'll let you guys know if you work in acute care between six and seven, no matter what you you work on, all hell breaks loose. Everything that could go wrong will go wrong. Something's gonna go wrong, either ERT or cold. And you have one some days where nothing does go wrong, but if something is gonna go down, it will go down the last hour. It's like the patients know that we're about to leave and I'm like, okay, let's act up. <laughs> That's how it goes, so yeah. It was about 2.54, I woke up a little early. I'm very hungry, so I'm just eating. So I'm just eating my leftover spaghetti that I made with impossible meat. Um, and then I'm just going to sit here and actually add a vlog that's coming out for you guys. And spend some time with the Lord. And then my endeavor is to bake chickpea chicken salad. Yeah. So this is shift two of two, two of three tonight. But I'm pretty sure it won't let me come to work tomorrow because it's my bonus shift. Back where I'm not like cooking. Rocking with me, thanks for rolling with me. Butter onto both sides because I want it to get a little crispy. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of miso paste. Chopped up the chickpeas. Now I am cutting the onions. I added vegan mayo. We added sweet relish, which is a lot. It looks like this. And then we also added the smoked paprika. I'm going to add some garlic powder as well. Uh, so outfit for today, this is a Janu set. This is the joggers. Um, this is the shirt from Janu. And then I just have on my hospital um, jacket with my Ted holes, which I wear with my Ted holes, which I wear all the time. Excuse my dirty mirror. Um, and so this is what I'm wearing today. And I know that I have to be a PCA, so I'm trying not to be, you know, me out. So yeah, I'm a PCA tonight, so I already know I'm gonna get a little dirty and stuff like that. But this is the outfit. It's 8.48, I have completed all vitals and all acting checks. I had a bingo trial, so I'm getting ready to go down and send it to the lab. And then I just had some time to just spare until it's time to do labs again, so. <laughs> So 
So if you have a patient that is allowed to take a shower, just make sure that you actually uh, wrap up their IV. And so this is the actual dressing that we use. <laughs> and I finished all my labs I actually finished everything about like 30 minutes ago labs and everything and um, I'm just chilling so I don't think I said this but um, today I have I was the PCA <laughs> and he asked if I wanted to be and I said yes and it wasn't bad at all I had a few um, lab draws that I couldn't get but it because of their medical history so, um, yeah, and then most of my people were self, so I didn't have any baths except one that I probably would do around six. So, I am in here just taking my 15 minute break. I woke up mad early. I actually woke up at like, at like 1 30, and so um, I basically starved myself. And in light of this new diet, I'm making like a tofu bacon BLT something, whatever. You guys, I am winging this, okay? I'm gonna show y'all what I did so far. Okay, so off camera, I did make the marinade for this tofu. So this tofu, it has like Dijon mustard, liquid smoke, maple syrup, um, garlic powder, paprika, um, what else did I put in here? Soy sauce. So I marinated that and then put it in the air fryer for about 15 minutes and then this is toasted bread and I made like a garlic aioli, whatever, with vegan mayo. I'm gonna put that one there with lettuce and tomatoes and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. Vegan mayo. And you guys, I do not normally eat mayo. I do not, but I will eat some vegan mayo. I used to make the chickpea, the chickpea tuna stuff. It was okay. I would say it was okay. I think I need to um, figure out more ways to make it more flavorful. But I just, I don't know, maybe I just wasn't feeling like tuna. So anyways, I kind of starved last night. And so I woke up and I was like, I think I'm making something good. So, let me do some more vegan meat. Okay, so I am finally at work and you already know if you see me cleaning up it's because I'm charge nurse again. That's the only time I have the time to clean up or I'm PCA. Honestly, I don't know what I am tonight. <laughs> I'm everything. But anyways, I clean up the units. I really do. I believe that it's important to do at the beginning of the shift. it's 7 32 and literally guys like i just got into my car and this is the first moment i think of peace that i have had oh my gosh they look like kids anyway sorry i, I work in the hood so it's a lot of strange activity that goes on so anyways i was charged last night and um when i tell you that everything that could possibly go wrong was going wrong at multiple times and multiple <laughs> and when I think about what I had went through this shift I I'm glad that I don't have to come back for at least another two weeks because I think I have, would have lost my mind um my floor is very difficult and then not only that but being charged I used to think of being charged like oh my gosh you don't have any 
and the thing that it really always gets me is doing the schedule because my floor is so heavy oh my god it look like sister my floor is so heavy that you have to make sure you split up evenly the the, the totals or people are sickle cell um there's so many other things that are the case so you try to make it a balance but when you got so many fires that you're putting out sometimes even making a schedule i'm sitting there like did i do that did i do that i didn't check that and so it makes it how i am because i think that i like to do be perfect in a lot of things that it messes with me because it's 